I apologize for this horrendous lighting. I don't know why it's orange. I don't think it was orange last time. The light that's usually on in this in the kitchen isn't working, so that might be it because that one's like a cool toned light, but this one, all the other ones are, are on are like warm. Anyways, hi guys. As you can see, I'm back in Florida at my house and it has been the worst travel day. I know when I last filmed, I was leaving my apartment with my stuff and I was all smiles and rainbows and sunshine. That quickly went away. I am someone who always gets to the airport with plenty of time to spare because I have really bad anxiety. I get really scared of missing my flight or anything going wrong. I always give myself time in case there's any like problems, you know? So I'm like texting my stepmom asking her, hey, my flight's at this time, it boards at this time. When should I leave to give myself enough time? As I always do. I always need my parents to give me like affirmations on whatever. So she tells me the time I should get there and I do. I don't know if it was because everyone just decided to fly today or if it was because of the the smoke conditions yesterday the flights got canceled and rescheduled to today but when I tell you I walked into terminal 4 in JFK and sat in TSA for like an hour and a half that was the longest I have ever ever waited in line for it was so bad i'm like panic texting my parents like i'm not gonna make my flight i'm gonna miss my flight i'm not even through tsa yet my flight was literally by the time i got through security and got my bags and my shoes on it was approximately 3 22 p.m and the gates closed at 3 27 and my gate was all the way at the end so i grabbed my stuff and I run down the stairs and I run down the terminals. I am like about to start crying. I am seeing stars. I'm dehydrated, I'm freaking out. It was so bad. I get to my gate, I'm like literally already on the verge of tears and I still see an agent there. So I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I made it literally at the last second. It was, it was literally 327 when I ran up to the gate and she just points to the sign and it says boarding ended. And I sit there and I just look at this woman and she tell she literally could tell I was about to just like crumble on the floor there. I was like, ma'am, I need to be on this flight right now. Please, please. I started crying and I'm like shaking. And she just like looks at me and I could tell she felt bad. And she like didn't know what to do. She's like, okay, hang on, hang on. And she's like, okay, they're holding the gate. Like, go. You're gonna have to check your bag. I was like, I do not care. Like, give me the bag tag, we're good. And when I went to go scan my phone that had my like boarding pass on it, my hands were shaking so bad. I'm like putting it over the scanner, like my hands are shaking this bad. And she's like, it's okay, it's okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. And then she finally scanned it. And I was like, thank you so, so much. Like, I hope you have a great rest of your week. I hope you have a great rest of your life. I was so grateful. I've never missed a flight before when traveling by myself. And I take pride in that because I'm really, really responsible when it comes to traveling. And I try to like have everything together and this was the closest I've ever come to actually missing a flight. And I was frantic, like so frantic. I hand them my bag and I like walk into the seat or I walk onto the plane, walk to my seat. I'm like, I couldn't, I didn't know if I was about to have a panic attack or an asthma attack or both. I couldn't breathe. I was sweating. I was shaking. But then finally I get my stuff and thank God they have my stuff. I get in the car and the first thing I said to her was please take me to Taco Bell. So I got a Crunchwrap Supreme and a burrito and I'm a little bit happier now that I have food in my body. And the sunset was really pretty tonight. So that was a perk. I'm trying to look at the positives here. But wow, was this a stressful day. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say about that but I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Everything going forward should be perfect. I'm just gonna tell myself that. Everything else going forward should be great. Good morning, you guys. I am looking a little bit rough, so please just disregard every part about my appearance. I also figured out the lighting. The light did work, but it is Friday. I'm working right now. I only took a half day yesterday to make my flight, and I'm working today. I took Monday and Tuesday off. I had breakfast. We, there's, since my parents are gone, there's no food in the house, which is like, to be expected, they don't want it to go to waste or go bad while they're gone. But like, <laughs> I came home and the only thing in our fridge is pickles and no sugar added applesauce. <laughs> so I sat there and I was like, shoot, um, what am I gonna do for breakfast tomorrow? I woke up at like 6.30 this morning. I had my blinds open and like, I forget that my room here actually gets light, unlike my room in New York City. 
so I got woken up with the sun but I wasn't mad about it I slept really good last night because my house is so quiet and like my room gets really really dark here and my bed is really comfy so I slept really good I was able to wake up like no issues and woke up this morning immediately like immediately went on a cleaning rampage I don't know what got into me. I like went in my bathroom and threw out all my old and expired products and like makeup stuff and skincare and everything. Cause like obviously I haven't lived at home. I just like got rid of everything possible. And I went through my, the closet, like my linen closet in my bathroom too and got rid of a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna go through my room today and like donate a bunch of clothes to Goodwill and reorganize my closet and all that because I'm obviously coming back to Florida very soon for like temporarily and I'll need space and not that I don't have space It's just like chaotic mess and my parents every time I come home always are like Please do something about all your clothes. So my, If you guys are watching this, I'm gonna do something about my clothes. Okay, I'm doing laundry right now because I brought home all my dirty clothes and have a nice washer dryer here for free and now I'm doing all my clothes from that I brought for my trip so they're clean and I can hang them up. I don't have any food. I don't have any oat milk here or milk in general. So I couldn't make a coffee this morning. So instead, I went into our fridge in the garage and I'm drinking one of my dad's Celsiuses. So thank you, dad, for keeping Celsius here because I need some kind of like wake up. I'm working a full day today, so like won't be doing anything fun or exciting until a little bit later on. So just wanted to give you guys a little quick update, let you know how the first day is going. But I'm really excited. A bunch of my friends have already, I like posted on my Instagram story that I was back and so many people were like, oh my god, I can't believe you're home. Like I want to see you, I want to see you. And I was like, I may not have time while I'm home this trip, but I will be back at the end of the month for a very long time so then we can make plans because every time I come back I just get so overwhelmed trying to see everybody because like I try to see my family and like obviously my parents are divorced so I try to see like my dad and my stepmom and spend time with them I try to see my mom and spend time with her my sister and my nephew and then like my friends but usually I only come home for a couple of days so trying to like split all of that can be a little much sometimes so we're gonna make it work Okay, hello you guys, it's a bit later. I am going to meet one of my friends for drinks. Got a nice little golden hour coming here. Yep, beautiful. This is my outfit, I don't think you can see. See the outfit? Just wearing this little Zara knit top and leather pants, or oh, not leather, linen pants. Oh my God. Okay, but I'm going to meet my friend Sydney at her house and then we're gonna go get drinks at a rooftop. And that is the plan right now. Take you guys along with me. I'll probably have to vlog on my phone because I have a little baby purse right now that I'm gonna be taking with me and you're not gonna fit. But I'll take you along and we're gonna have a fun little girls night. <laughs> I got an Asiago with cream cheese on the side. Cookies waiting like a good boy. Hi. My hair looks actually insane right now, but my eyes, like this eye is so swollen. I don't know why. I'm really allergic to my friend's dogs. And every time I come here and I haven't been here in a while, I get so congested. Like last night I had to take a Benadryl and my eyes were like, so watery and so itchy and my right eye is like so swollen right now and it just hurts but not going to miami this weekend might be going during the week next week and i might be extending my trip tbd we can't make plans for the life of us we're so bad at this last night was so much fun we like ended up going out to well we stayed at the same place that we got food at but 
um, a couple of our friends met us out, and it was ladies' night, so we got to drink for free. And that was fun. And then we came home and made cookies and watched Twilight, because that's just, like, what we always do. But it's really nice out today. I think we're going to go to the beach, do something outside. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so nice out. But, like, I think that was, like, what to say, you know? Hi, you guys. Okay, so, last time I picked up the camera, we were heading to the beach. We went to the beach for a few hours. As you can tell, I'm a little sunburned, but I also have a little bit of a tan. I'm so excited. I love being tan. I just did my makeup. I haven't put on mascara yet. Um, so I just wanted to pick up the camera and update you guys while I'm finishing getting ready. Um, we are going to Miami. We decided at the beach. We were at the beach. It was me and Sydney. And then Sydney's Kirsten's older sister, who's like one of my best friends. And our friends Joey and Evan met us at the beach and they were like, guys, should we just like go to Miami tonight? So <laughs> we're taking the bright line down. It's six o'clock now. Joey's coming to pick me up in like 30 minutes, I think. Yeah, like 30 minutes. And we're gonna head down there. We're taking the bright line. That's like an hour. You've seen that in the last vlog. I took the bright line down. So we're just gonna do that. I'm just straightening my hair because I don't want to curl it. It's so humid out that if I curl it, it's just going to get, like, fluffy and look bad. So I'm just going to straighten it tonight just to make it easy for me. But we're going to Miami for the night. I'm so excited. We're going to have fun. We're getting dinner at Moxie's first in Brickell downtown. And then, and we've been there before. Like, we like Moxie's a lot. And then we're just going to start our night there and then kind of see just, like, where where the wind takes us we don't have anywhere specific we're trying to go but we're gonna stay like down in brickle and we're going with a couple of our other friends so it's gonna be a lot of fun i think i'm just gonna wear i don't know i brought a couple outfits home for like going out like this type of scenario because we were planning to go to miami so i brought home some clothes for miami so basically i brought home a leather set it's like a leather azara leather corset crop top thing I don't know if it's this. Is this is the right way. This thing. So it like fastens in the back, but it looks like this. Just like a little tube top, but it's leather. And then I have my Aritzia Molinas, like my leather pants that I just wear all the time. So I think I'm just going to do that. My only other option is this brown set from princess polly the one that i tried on in my packing video i could do that but if we're getting food first and then going out i just feel like i'm gonna be a little uncomfortable and overdressed for the restaurant and that's just like i don't really want to do that because i'm just gonna be self-conscious the entire time i feel like i'm like way too overdone if we were just going straight out i would wear it but i think i'm just gonna go with the leather set it's easy it's comfortable i don't feel so like exposed so I'm happy with my choice. I feel good. We're, I'm going to be wearing heels too. That's going to be an issue. But luckily, if my feet start hurting, Joey will probably carry me if I, if I ask. Because my feet are going to literally fall off. And Joey, if you didn't know, is my husband. He's one of my really good friends. I've known him for so many years now. But we always joke that we're going to get married. And he calls me his Egyptian wife. So, I feel like if my feet start hurting, he'll give me a little piggyback ride or something to <laughs> ease the pain a little bit. But me and Sydney went to the beach. We went swimming in the water. We were playing mermaids, if you know, you know. And then we went and got acai bowls, went home, and yeah, we've just been taking it easy. I'm glad that this, so far, this trip home feels like it's going by pretty slow, because usually when I come home, I feel like... I do a million things and I get pulled in like a million different directions and I kind of get overwhelmed. But so far, I do not feel that way. I feel like I have gotten to see a lot of people already and I've tried to like pick up my camera as much as I can. But a lot of the times 
my camera is like not physically in my hand like I can't fit it in my purse So I've just been trying to vlog on my phone at least so I can have some stuff to show you guys like what I'm doing while I'm here and Also, I just love having like the memories too. I'll pick the camera back up again when we're on the bright line We got the premium seats going down because it includes cocktails not cocktails, but it includes like drinks so we can like start the party early and then we're just taking regular seats back so that'll be fun but yeah i'll pick up the camera again when i'm with the guys and aaron our friend who's coming too so i'll see you guys in a bit so this is the final fit literally just wearing all leather and all black heels my makeup actually turned out so good i don't know if it's because i got a little bit of a tan this lighting is atrocious, but Joey's on his way to pick me up right now. I'm so excited. I am gonna bring my camera tonight, so I'll try to get like videos and pictures and stuff, but stay tuned. day now I'm so tired this has been such a long weekend so I ended up staying in Miami for the for Saturday and yesterday I don't know what day it is today's Monday I was in Miami yesterday from Saturday like evening until last night I had so much fun we just laid out in the like by the pool one of our friends apartments we got food and like I didn't really I didn't vlog like anything yesterday just because I needed I like just wanted to relax and like be with my friends and everything because it was people I haven't seen in a really long time but it's Monday now and as you can see I just got ready I'm well I did my makeup I'm gonna be getting breakfast with my mom I haven't seen her well I haven't seen her that much since I've been home she picked me up from the airport but I told her I just wanted to like hang out with my friends this weekend and then me and her could do something together today and tomorrow before I go back to the city but I'm so happy I have a nice tan I feel good the weather's a little weird today it's sunny right now but I think it's supposed to rain later which kind of sucks but it's fine but yeah Miami was fun we went to dinner at Moxie's and we just got some drinks there and hung out and then we left Moxie's and went to I don't remember the name of the bars we went to honestly the guys picked it so we just kind of like went along with them but it was a lot of fun and we went to a karaoke bar i know that because we were singing our hearts out at one point and it was a lot of fun i love karaoke bars i don't know about you guys but like karaoke is always like always a good time but yeah overall i've had a really good time like i just love being with my friends here because it's people i've known like for so many years so it's very comfortable with them they're always super good with the flow and it's just easier to go out here than it is in the city in the city like if you want to go to dinner somewhere you have to make a reservation like days in advance or if you want to go to like a bar you have to wait in line forever so like that sucks but here you can kind of just wing it which helps my anxiety a little bit that i don't have to worry about like planning and planning and planning and planning but yeah so my room's a mess right now. I'm gonna have to like clean everything and repack and all that stuff tomorrow But like it's making me feel better about coming back here for a few for like a month or two while I figure out my living plans in the future Girl, this is just for me and you to have our lovely memories together And then I yeah. These look so good. Oh my god. 10 out of 10.
last day here in Florida. I went to watch the sunrise this morning. You'll see some footage of that. I am so sad to be leaving. Just sitting and watching the sunrise this morning, I was just so happy and just felt so relaxed. <sighs> I don't know. I know I keep saying this, but I'm actually really sad to be going home later today and going back to the city. I just love having the beach and all of my friends close by. So it's going to suck having to leave them. My hair looks really crazy right now because I did go in the ocean. And I'm going back to the beach later with my mom. So I'm not going to like shower and wash my hair all over again. But I need to tame it because I'm going to go get some breakfast. I'm going to go to Pura Vida get a smoothie maybe like a toast or something but i'm starving and again i don't have any food at my dad's house right now so i will need to do that i don't know if i'm getting sick or if i'm just like really tired from everything i did this weekend but my voice is like going away in and out so that's perfect so our button down these shorts i think they're from tiger mist and then I'm just going to throw my Tory Burch sandals, or my Tory Burch, they're like flip-flops. Go get some breakfast, come home, probably change again, and then whenever my mom is ready to go to the beach later, going to go to the beach with her. I went to Sydney's last night. We got crumble. We made dinner together. We made like a little vegan orange chicken type of situation. It was so good. And then our friends Joey and Evan came over to watch the Heat game. Heat lost. So that was really disappointing, but it's okay. Happy they made it that far. It was a decent game, so I'm trying to look at the positives. Okay, you guys, I don't have my camera right now, but I have this. I'm about to go pick some <laughs> mangoes, and this should be a... Uh very interesting task. I'm gonna set you guys right here and you can watch me attempt to get some mangoes. A little closer, actually. We'll put you here. We have so many. <laughs> I feel like a farmer. Guys, look at all the mangoes I just picked. I have to go drop some of these off. Some of them are for my mom, and then some of them are for a couple of my friends that wanted me to bring them mangoes before I leave today, but I got so many, and there's still, like, the tree literally still has so many that need to be picked, but this is what I could get for right now that were, like, close to being ripe. I'm so excited. I hope they like them. Is it? I think so. 